five o'clock, we are tracking Tropical Storm Ada. South Florida needs to keep a close eye on this one. All of South Florida is in the cone of uncertainty, so let's get right to CBS4 meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez. She's in for Craig tonight. Lisette. Lauren and Elliot, Tropical Storm Ada is still bringing life-threatening flash flooding to parts of Central America, and it will weaken in the next few hours as it moves over Honduras. And as we take a look at the latest advisory as of 4 p.m., it is still moving rather slowly to the west at seven miles an hour with max sustained winds of 40 miles an hour. But take a look at how it's expected to move towards the northwest, eventually to the north, and then to the northeast as a depression, an area of low pressure, and then re-strengthening to a tropical storm as it moves over the Central Caribbean. Cuba in that cone. Yes, South Florida is in that cone as we hit into late Sunday and into Monday and pretty much most of South and Central Florida really early next week really needing to monitor it closely. There's still a lot of uncertainty and you'll notice that a few of the models are actually keeping it moving to the west, but then most of the models are steering it in the general direction of the Central Caribbean of Cuba or the Bahamas or South Florida and then it turns possibly to the west as we head into the early to middle part of next week. And as we take a look at the steering pattern, you'll notice that for now high pressure is steering it, but then we have a cutoff low that's going to shift it and turn it to the north, the northeast, and that's the reason why it's expected to move towards South Florida. Now, regardless of whether this is a tropical storm or it becomes a little bit stronger, a lot of moisture is headed our way, and that's going to enhance our chance for showers and storms and possible flooding as we head into Sunday, Monday, and possibly Tuesday. I'll have more of my complete forecast in just a few minutes.